Hello,、uh, so recently I focused on making this FPGA board, it's not CBRT, FPGA board consisting of a lattice semiconductor,、um, Mach X02,、uh, which has a 256 logic unit. And、uh, this is the original board. I put some、uh, modification, but I noticed that、uh, the price of、uh, this FPGA, it has a 256、uh, logical unit, is almost comparable. It's not so expensive if I bought 1200 uh, logic unit, a、uh, bigger one. So I made the, this one the same PCV, but、uh, actually no. Oscillator, no、uh, low frequency oscillator anymore because、uh, it has、uh, enough logical unit、uh, 1200, 1200、uh, logical units, so it's very easy and、uh, it's very enough to make the very long bit、uh, counter if we want a very slow operation. And、uh, as I present before, it has a very unique and a very useful function. That is a EFV. It's an embedded、uh, function block. Actually, inside this FPGA, already I2C and the SPI block is prepared in the hardware. And we can utilize it to make the I2C device both slave and master. And this time, I made the slave mode、uh, demo. Now let's see how it works. I already prepared the I,、uh, Arduino to, to transmit the I2C command. And uh, let's uh, maybe first time. And this board is working by the by bus, by,、uh, bus power.、Uh, power is driven by the USB bus. And、uh, let's connect the Arduino. Yeah. As you see, now it looks like a counting. And、uh, actually, this board is currently working as a、uh, LED extender. It's working as a GPIO、uh, mode. And the command is transmit from Arduino to this board. And、uh, of course, it looks like just a counter. But、uh, this blinking is made, of, made by the command, I2C command. So, I now change the command on the Arduino. Yeah, it looks like this. And this situation is made by I2C bus. Master is currently Arduino. So, now it has、uh, plenty of logical unit, 1000, more than 1000, and very Easy to make I2C slave and I2C master device. Also, it has a possibility to make SPI device. It's very useful and it's very easy. Have fun.